Hello everyone. This is another fun session of sculpting, but this time it's on a Monday instead of a Thursday. So I apologize for that. I went out Thursday night with my man uh, Paul Gabori. He was like actually in town, so we just went like in catch up. So yeah. So basically, I'm just like restreaming since I missed Thursday. Uh, I was just like hoping to catch up because I just want to keep the old, you know, like, uh, what can I say that, like the, not the discipline, but uh, just the flow going, just to be sure I don't, if I start missing too often, then, uh, you know, I'll lose my, uh, my flow of streams and uh, I will just like, uh, yeah, abandon or quit and that's not something I want to, want to do, so just for consistency then we'll just continue so today uh, I don't know like I don't I didn't have like a specific part I wanted like to sculpt first but uh, I was yeah tempted to go with fingers or maybe like this arm so I'll just play with uh, that's one of the thing like it's been a while since I've pulled like any mesh so I'll, I think it would be a good uh, a good catch up to replay with the pose and because like you see right now like everything is not fitting perfectly and I was still like defining the, the pose for, for the end so I'll just I'll just hide like a few things to be sure like the scene is actually not too slow because if it's lagging on my side it must be really lagging on yours since uh, I think like the the average frame rate frame rate is actually 30 fps but i'm pretty sure it must go lower than that that's uh, at different times hello everyone it's always a pleasure to see you i just hope you guys don't feel it don't feel like the sculpt is becoming too redundant since uh I've been quite busy. I'm like building uh, the whole uh, uh, brand new website. Basically, that's what I'm wor working on, like in the morning. So, unfortunately, I'm the sculpt is like almost like on hold a little bit. The only w the only time I I'm sculpting it is actually with you guys. So, but yeah, as soon as the, the my time uh, I get my time back from the website, then maybe I should just I will. Uh, yeah, I will push it further just to finish it once and for all and then move to something else. But in the meantime, we're stuck with this. So uh, I think I'll just go like this and yeah, that will be faster. So I hope uh, everybody's doing good. How are you feeling out there? Having a great Monday. Monday are always tough. Eh? It's uh, okay. So I just want to find my torso. Okay. So yeah, like you see, like you know, there's some parts that have been split. And uh, usually I'll try like to keep a little bit of my, you know, base mesh. Right now, like you see, the hands are like pretty ugly, but uh, just go. On. But uh, yeah, I always like find it like a. That's one of the things like I didn't do for this. Like I didn't go with like a, a mannequin or like a Z sphere to you know constrain proportions. So yeah, it was like a little bit harder. But uh, usually I'll try like to keep them. Because it gives me like a good reference of of length uh, length of the limbs when I sculpt. So because right now I'm like kind of a eyeballing the whole thing and you know putting some when it feels right. So so I'll just lower my subdivisions to go faster. Okay.
I don't know if you guys had the chance to check it out, but uh, the the YouTuber called uh, Uncle Jesse did like a, I did like a while back, like just a, some kind of like speed sculpt. That's that's something we do like during lunchtime from time to time with uh, with colleagues, like other other character artists. And basically, um, yeah, once I did like the sculpt, it was uh, Venom. And once I did the sculpt, and you know, I was just like, oh, maybe uh, maybe I should try like just to. Because I wanted like to try like new uh, insert keys for 3D printing, so I was just like, oh, maybe I should, uh, you know, to create keys and cuts and make it like printable. And basically, like this guy is actually like Uncle Jesse is actually like reviewing all kind of printers and and sculptures. So yeah, basically like yeah, I sent him like the my model, and and just in time for the I think the Venom trailer for the movie. He actually like did a print and um and a review and one of the things that he did and I th I thought that was like so cool, it's it's maybe like something that, you know, it happens often with three D print, but uh, for me it was like the first time I saw that. He actually uh because like for the, the tongue of the um, the venom, yeah, you wanted to make it like just like if this was like a you know, with all kind of uh, saliva coming down the the tongue so he actually like put some uh, some uh, glue basically like it was like almost like liquid glue and he would actually just put it like on a needle and then the old drop would actually I don't know just drop like at the right spot and it would give you like a and then of course it will actually froze when the the glue was like uh, when you waited a bit, but uh, that was like a great idea. It's actually just put some glue on uh, on stuff that would be like liquid up until they actually freeze. So I'm still playing with the like the arm, like you see, like a you know I wanted like to look still natural. And one of the thing is like wait, I want like something to be super dynamic and. Wait, maybe I'll just hide it for now. Just, but yeah, I just want it like to be dynamic from all around. So like f the front view, like we feel like the the claw is actually holding down. But uh, yeah, I feel like the whole arm might not be at the right spot. Come on, man! I just forgot my. I just lost my. Body. Here we go. Okay. So once again, like I'm always asking, uh, I'm all, I'm always like curious to know from where are you watch, watching this so which country do you live in or city feel free feel free to share it's always cool to hear and you know that's the thing like right now I switched like to a Monday compared to like a Thursday but at some point maybe like I would actually try to uh, do for a different time just to be sure you know I'm reaching out like uh, people from different corner of the the planet and because uh, I can understand like it's uh, unfortunate for some that uh, um, it can be like uh, it can be hard to reach me on the on those hours so come on dude I'm just like trying to find the sleeve which like you saw like I did like a, a couple of details on it but I'm never constrained by it so even if I knew, need to move my stuff to make it Damn, I should really rename my stuff. It's it's a nightmare to navigate. But um, yeah, I will always like shift my stuff if if it gives me a a more natural pose and. Hey, come on! How come it's hard to find? Not this, not this. I can keep that. Let's 
Sorry guys, I don't want to waste too much of your time, I'm just... It's weird, I think, I thought it was for sure, like I put my stuff there. There you go. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so like we saw, like right now, like it kind of makes sense. But the problem is, if I go with this, it won't be like the same length at, as the you know this arm. So in this case, first off, like I'm gonna rename it because uh, I don't want to be looking for it. So. gonna go transparency just to see if I can actually and I don't really mind if it's not uh, connected to the, the rest of the body I will um, because I find it like a lot easier to play with even like to sculpt if I need to isolate and stuff like that and since we, we won't like see the connection from the the connection will be probably just for the from the end and to the sleeve that whole underbody so that's why like I'm not like pushing too far you know the, the whole muscle and anatomy and stuff like that just because um, I, we won't like so see it through the and it's not really like an anatomy practice that I'm doing right now Come on, do that. I keep for I keep losing my meshes. It's terrible. I'll just go weird. Okay. Okay, so we got people, oh wow, people from Russia, and then Texas. That's great. I don't think I uh, I brought like any uh, ref for the ends, so I'm like kind of a uh, just sculpting them from memory. But uh, I think that would be like a good idea at some point to get like some decent, uh, especially when I'm gonna be refining it. But right now, like my intention is really to have like a uh, the right pose. So one of the things that I noticed right off the bat is like the size of the hands. I feel like the size is like a little bit too big. Since it's supposed to be female hands, you know. We'll just scale them down just a little bit more. And one of the things that I kinda like is like to create like some kind of, you know, elegant kind of a feminine um you know, look would be like to get like usually I try like to go with thinner. Well, right now it's like thinner fingers and longer than and and long like thin and long, not too long because it, it will start to look like creepy. But uh, so. 
so. So right now I'm trying like to pull out like all the knowledge that I remember about Anne. I like to, you know, read a an SME book from time to time and one of the things that always like come back often with Anne's is like the the old um usually there's like a wait, I'm gonna try to just sculpt the angle that I wanna talk about. It's like I'm just gonna draw like a tiny line and yeah, basically like with hands you always like get some kind of a line like this and then once you reach you know the major is it the major well that's the thing like uh, yeah once you reach this finger then usually like that's the highest point and then it starts going down after that so I'm just gonna Right now it feels like my fingers are like super deep. I'm just gonna bring them up a little bit more. And once again, like since I, I don't like hold any reference right now and my end is like kind of a good reference point because right now like I'm even like uh you know, I'm like literally trying to take the pose. So like all the muscles, I don't know if you can see but like all the I mean not the muscles but the tendons that goes into the knuckles are actually like sticking out so I can get like a good idea of a uh, if I want like a, a specific pose and how much intensity or or how much I can bend the fingers stuff like that so so I'm like going back and forth with my hand that, that sounds weird but uh, yeah <laughs> focus ZBrush guys so I'll just go back face because I don't know if you saw but like the old back face started like to be pulled out So I'm just gonna isolate that. And yeah, I don't wanna over define it. I'm just gonna put like my knuckles in just to have like actually a guideline. And then I will I will actually put the glove on top. Like the upper part of the glove. And then model the glove on top. So from there like the the only like the parts that will be left uh, that we can see same thing with fingers it's supposed to do like a I'm looking at mine and those two knuckles are almost like a line next to each other and then from there it start like this one should be lower doesn't mean to be perfect but at least it's a good reference point to start and of course every time that you get like a knuckle you get like a, a bending point Just kind of like try. Yeah, hey, what's uh bacon bacon bolts? Wow, that's a that's one of a name. It's pretty cool. I like it. So try like to make it like pointy as well. So yeah, so once again like I'm like you see like I've started over here and then I'm moving like over here and then I will continue like to go down and uh and uh yeah, from every angle, I will try, and sometimes that's not a bad thing. Like right now, I'm looking from the end upside down, but it's like, yeah, I will once again, I will pose my hand, and then I will try to see like how much, you know, intensity I can get with my own hand, and then from there, you know, if it's still missing or, you know, I like to play with the squash and stretch, like in, you know, you would see like in comics or cartoon, like something like, you would see like an arm like a little bit more bent that it's that it's supposed to be bent. 
but it creates like that dynamic kind of a uh, gesture which i i really like, like it, it amplify the thing and i think if you just like uh do it like a, in a subtle way it's it's not it doesn't look like way too awkward but to but uh to find that spot i will do like a a lot of uh, sometimes a lot of back and forth so i'm still No, I'm in with the clear, uh, just a clear brush because it's it's softer, and uh, yeah, I feel like it's it's closer to what uh, human form looks like instead of the clear two, which is like rougher and sometimes sharper. So like for our surface, sometimes I will prefer it, but uh, yeah, for this it's like because I'm actually in thin like uh, the bone, I'm. Uh, and even like the sides, because right now like some of the sides are actually pretty bad. So, what's up, Cody? Hey, but by the way, like, um, you know, that's never, that's something I'm never sure. Like every time that someone is like commenting on my uh, on the chat, do you guys actually see it in the viewport? Because I'm um, I'm always wondering if I need like to copy paste that that link back to the almost like the chat box just under my uh, just under my face, basically. It's just. Uh, because like I, that's the thing. I just find like it's practical. I don't need to repeat the questions. But uh, Cody is actually asking about you know how I put my stuff like your brushes down in the bottom area of the screen as the panel up here. Well, I don't use the H, you know, because this panel is always like there. But I'm wondering if it's this thing you meant. But yeah, it's like on top of that. But yeah, you, you just go to pre preference and uh, go to uh, config and uh, enable customize and then I think you need to press control on any of the buttons to drag them out from the menus usually like I I find it like a lot easier if you just bring the menu and you stick it to the side and then you rip out like one of the buttons but uh, yeah I hope this answers your question And while I'm sculpting, that's why I kind of like the fact that it's like messy. Well, you know, I can understand some artists might not like that, but uh, for me, it's like it's a uh, because it's still a sketch at this point. So right now, like I don't have like a specific design like for the hand. So even like on the on the part, like uh, because we'll see like the whole bottom of the. So that's why I like sculpting with something rough will uh, help. Uh, find like shapes or how I should actually create that so once again like for that part if I feel at some point I'm like running in circle and I don't know where to go then I'll take a look at my reference page but if not then I will will continue and explore so so it's like the the reference page is almost like my safety vest and if I get stuck at some point I will just uh, use my safety vest So, looking at the thickness.
So one of the things that I meant, like since I want intensity, and if I look at my uh, hand, like it's like the the top of the hand is supposed to be like super flat, but for me, just just to create more intensity, I will actually just like try to bend it just a little bit more, just to give like a round angle. So right now, like I I don't feel like we get like any intensity for those fingers. So right now I'll instead of like st start instead of uh you know start bending all the, the fingers I will just like start to render them out because they're not like uh I can see them all at the same time and since they're not close to each other then I'm not like bumping into them while sculpting or I don't need like to isolate them one by one which I'm going to do after that but for this I can actually like at least like find like some kind of shape that is like close to what I want so ah come on what did I do so see even my you know the direction that my fingers are supposed to go seems to be like quite off so and once again like it's sorry if it's boring but it's it, it it pays so much if you actually spend some time on the under structure to really like feel it right and then you build on top of it you just it will definitely reflect and that's that's something that it's uh, oftentimes like appeal me the most when I see that like in other artists when you can feel like the under structure you don't really see it but just the way you know everything was placed with uh, and gives like a real uh, real natural feel to it and dynamic so just to be sure it's even more dramatic dra dramatic it's uh well I'm kind of tired I guess like the French accent when it came out come out again so see like right now if I look at my fingers it's, it's supposed to go at least like 90 degrees down and a lot shorter so that's another trick like uh, right now like sometimes I use the move brush but if you want to just move everything like in a uniform manner because the move brush sometimes will actually start like the you know deforming the shape I will just like mask and then move it with the so this way like I'm still like keeping the whole shape of the finger more or less but uh, yeah it's, it's it's I feel like sometimes it's less destructive than that So if I look at my finger, okay, so the thumb looks pretty bad as well. And you'll see right away, like uh, as soon as you start like nailing down the ends, it's almost like something that at uh, you know I'm not doing right now, but I should definitely do. I think that should be like the first thing I start like sculpting after I did like the whole pose. I, w I should just start on the ends and then do them because I feel like uh, they pay off so much. I mean, when you're doing portraiture, of course, like the the head's gonna and the face gonna pay off. But I feel like with the ends, it's because one of the thing I don't know. Like, I don't know if you guys actually ever had that as well. But it's uh, oftentimes when I start with this with the head, I uh, you know if there's something with like the human eyes or it's just like something eyes like it feels like we're naturally conditioned to actually look at eyes 
So for some reason, when I sculpt and I do like already a face with eyes, I'm always drawn like back to the eyes. I don't know, it's just like if it's <laughs> I got like a hard time focusing on the rest. So I rather like not do them or keep them for the for the hand, the the end of the character, before I actually yeah ta tackle them because and that's another thing if you actually I don't know like do a, like a, a poor job on the eyes and then you start you continue with working on something else. I don't know, like your eyes will always be going back to the eyes and you'll just be like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it will bother you, you know, you'll, you'll want to actually go back and uh, fix them because you're always like looking at them and seeing what's wrong. Well, maybe not seeing what's wrong, but actually feeling that it's something is off. So like you see like one of the main reason why I'm not switching to the I'll just wait. One of the main reason why I'm not switching to subdivisions right now or just because I'm I'm still playing a lot with this silhouette and before I start you know Z remesh and uh, you know uh add some subdivisions I just want to be sure uh, all my forms are well defined because if I start growing stuff out of, uh, you know, let's just say like my thumbs needs to be at twice as long, it will spread out my polygons, m you know, my zero meshed uh, polygons, so I will get less definition. So if, let's just say like, I don't think I'm going to do that for this one, but if I need like to do like some fingerprints at the, at, at the under like the, the fingers, then, you know, like it's, I, I will be probably lacking geometry if I start stretching stuff once it's actually Z remesh so I rather like do all my silhouette and have like everything pretty much in place before I uh, I start doing that it's been a while since I did that and so I think that's good practice for me No, see, like, uh, you know, like, uh, rigging, rigging stuff, that's the thing, like, I've been using, like, ZBrush for quite a while, but doing pose, that's definitely some, not something I'm used to since I, I work, like, in games, so it's, it's, I'm still figuring out, like, that stuff, and now, like, there's, like, so many stuff to actually pose. One of the scene that I got, like, in Maya is actually with a rig, and sometimes, like, I will pose it, it's only, like, a let's just say like I sculpt my my rough mesh like I'll do like probably one dynamic mesh for everything and uh, in uh, in T-pose and then once I'm done with that I will just like take parts split them so per um, uh, joint so let's just say I will split at the wrist at the elbow the shoulder uh, well basically ev everywhere that it's actually bending and I will just export those meshes and then I will just like to like a uh, parent them like to the to the the rig in Maya and basically I will just move my rig so there's like two good things with that first of all you're actually keeping your silhouette so you can you know you can play around without breaking anything except the rig but I mean geometry wise you know it's a lot safer and um, uh, the other thing is actually that uh, you're you're always like keeping the length of your uh, your uh, your limbs. So basically, because right now like I'm playing with this, it's easy like to to just um, go overboard and have like some some limbs that are like n not uh, the right size. But uh, with the rig, then uh, you're under it for sure uh, it's all right but yeah it's I, li I like to put constraint on myself and it's it's almost like a sculpture constraint since you got like the armature but uh, things can change so so I'll just like
Come on. There we go. And I know that like one of the the thumb is supposed to be if you look at the the pinky knuckle it's supposed to be when you actually you know when you touch like your pinky and your thumb you can see like it's basically it's aiming at the knuckle so if you're wondering like which angle you actually should put your your thumb it's like you're supposed to align it with the your your pinky knuckle so that's what I'll attempt to be sure I'm not losing myself in there. I'll uh, I'll indicate like the tendons. One of the thing that I'm going to do right now just to be sure because right now I'm I think I won't change the shape too much, but uh, so that's why like I'm gonna z remesh it and I'm gonna z remesh it and and uh, yeah I will assign my poly groups so I can more easily like keep those selection and work them individually. So. It's to look like a mess. One of the thing that I'm like trying to memorize really like all even like the tension of the skin. It's something that I find like quite cool and uh just like over here it seems like there's like a quite a bit of skin going down like this.
So you guys are not falling asleep right now? Since I don't see uh, anybody talking in the chat, I just hope you're still with me. I don't want to be sculpting alone. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. So... Did you guys go and watch uh, Avengers? You know, just just to talk like a little bit more when I saw it. Um, I won't spoil anything, but uh, I saw it um, last yeah last Monday. So not today, like last week. And uh, yeah, it was uh, quite cool. A little bit overwhelming because like they got so many characters, but uh, it's cool that they were like able to achieve like s you know a movie with such a big cast. And uh, yeah, now like what I need to do uh, now that I've seen uh, Avengers, I need like to go and check out uh, God of War. <laughs> it seems to be quite cool. The old axe thing that's coming back seems to be. Uh, quite uh, phenomenal Oh yeah, that's right. They're supposed to be. That's the thing. Like I was like so confused. Like uh, w with Avengers, it's I saw that they were like supposed to do like uh, part one and part two. But now, like from what I understood, they actually removed like the part one and part two. They just like called it like Avengers three and Avenger four. So because I guess like in between part one and part two, like they will still release other uh, Marvel movies, but. Uh, but yeah, it's not, and that's that's one of the thing. Like you, you just like uh, wondering a lot what will happen in the meantime, and yeah, it's uh, it's definitely feels like one hell of a an intricate story. So, but yeah, it's it's cool to see like all the wood actually. Well, I think Marvel in this cage, in this cave, this cage, cage, in this case. Sorry about that. Um, it's uh. They, they really put like a lot of pre-production and a lot of thinking in their story, you know, and that's something that it feels so good with, you know, they literally like put quality in their stuff and it, and it shows and I think it sells too. And that's something that Hollywood seems to have like completely forgotten for many years, fortunately, you know. And I'm not just talking about like hero movies, but like all kind of, of movies. No wonder, like, now the TV shows are getting so strong. Okay. So before like going further, that's the part where first like I'll save, and then we'll we'll go for the 
zero meshing and then polygroup and stuff like that. That's something that I like try to use as much as I can, like polygroups, just to save like specific parts or selection and stuff like that and go back later, so Okay. So I'll remove the Dynamesh look. Looks like that. Uh, that's a little trick that I do sometimes like it's because if I just go do a zero mesh on this it will actually melt all my detail not that it's like precious but still like I've put some guidelines in there and I would rather not like sculpt it even if you know that wouldn't matter at this point but uh, yeah I'm just gonna show you the trick so just in case it's helpful for you guys so basically what I'll do is like since I don't have like any subdivision levels I cannot freeze anything so I'll I'll actually do uh, create some even if I basically you don't see any change and it's all right it's really because like I'm gonna be freezing it and then what polycon do I got 12 million is that right yeah so I'll go with uh, let's go with uh, let's say 15 and then Z remesh I don't want, I don't want to go for a uh, same because uh, I feel it's way too high for it. But but sometimes like that's what I'll do like uh, right now like I'm I'm sculpting like quite uh I'm quite high like in my polygon for the NMS usually like I don't go like that much but since since fingers are like complicated and you need like to bend them and all like uh often like it sometimes it requires more uh, polygons but um yeah like uh if i got like something like a lot lower then sometimes i'll just z remesh with the same thing that i did right now like do like one or two subdivisions freeze them then z remesh at the same poly count it will melt the detail because of the, the new topology and you just you just unfreeze after that and then you will just like reproject all your detail on top of the new topology so like you see like right now like some of my detail actually got washed out by the zero mesh because of the new topology so I'll just and hopefully I won't look like a fool and it will work out but uh, yeah usually it does So all my people like are actually doing on Facebook. I always forgot like to check. Like I got my cell phone next to me with the chat on Facebook. And yeah, I still uh, we still need to figure out how to make it work with the uh, restream. Well, on different account, that's what I mean. So like you see, like now I got like pretty much the same detail I had before on my Dynamesh. And I got like a lower mesh all packed into one with but but with the right topology. So basically I did not lose a lot, you know, in there. So just to be sure I got like a smooth mask, I will just smooth it. So right now what I'm doing is uh I'm masking every on my f every single of my fingers because if I want to bring them closer or anything like that or just work on one then I can isolate it and I won't be bothered by the others you know so group mask thank you there you go another group mask Sometimes, like ZBrush, you will uh, the software will assign uh, poly groups are almost the same color, which sometimes I find like quite hard like to to see, and uh, like even like right now, like it's it's like close color. It's not too bad, but it could be better. Yeah, could be better. But yeah, for this it's going to be alright, but sometimes if I want to shuffle my colors, 
I will just like isolate and then I will just do like auto groups click it a couple of times and then it will shuffle like colors so you can actually like change your color by keeping your mask so okay and yeah the thumb doesn't need like to be perfect it's just like a, a rough guideline because I can always like isolate like this if I need to so blue mask so I got my fingers and now I can start From what I recall, usually fingers are like slimmer on the sides or straighter in the sides, and then they get to get a huge bulge underneath, especially when they're bent because it's like cushions, and then more flat at the top because they're sticking onto the bone. And of course they taper. Not a lot, but just a tiny bit. I don't want to do nails because I'm going to be... Uh, She's gonna be like wearing some kind of glove, so right now it's it's only for a uh, reference. Can I show you my job? I'm not sure what you're asking. You want to see my portfolio? That's what you mean? I'd like to show you what I'm working out right now, but uh, <laughs> I can't because I'm working on a game that it's not been announced yet, so.
Hey, thanks. So yeah, hopefully, uh, right now I got like a, mostly a game for portfolio, but uh, pretty soon I should be able like to show up some of the 3D prints that I did, so might be more relevant with uh, the stream. Unfortunately, like, uh, I would rather, like, uh, well, not rather, but, uh, I like to do uh, quite a bit more, uh, print, print, uh, sculptures and stuff like that, but, uh, yeah, I just feel like sometimes it's, uh, it's hard to find, like, the time to, when you're already, like, working in games, like, finding time to do, uh, sculptures or, uh, can be art, and that's the thing, like, it's, like, any artist, you just, like, want it to be, uh, how can I say that? Like, a, you know, stuff that you like the quality you actually expect from yourself. So, so basically, I, if I want to do like something, I want something that it's cool and even like something that challenged me, something ambitious. One of the thing that I feel like right now in the silhouette, like we kind of feel like the top of the fingers, but you know this part, the old Tom Maria, like doesn't really fight, feel right. See, so like that's one of the thing that it's practical, you know, when you when you isolate your fingers, it's easy to get rid of their mask. Oops. No, I, for my printing, like, I try to use my own printer or, like, friend's printer or stuff like that. I, uh, I know, you know, I got some friends who, like, try out Shapeways, but for me it's, like, the whole, the whole fun of it is actually the whole discovery of, you know, process and stuff like that. And I'm, like, kind of super into the whole molding and castings kind of stuff. So it's, yeah, figuring out like this. I feel like in the, in this day and age like it's still you know 3d printing is getting a lot a lot more uh, out there but it's still like pretty niche you know it's not like if it's uh you know like computers or you know it's not like if you're it's when you know like you're, you're basically your parents or you know uncles on you know grandmothers start using it that it becomes like a lot more mainstream and I'm pretty sure like at some point printing will actually get that point but uh, for now it's still like pretty much uh, a, a lot less known to the original public I know that in some countries it's actually more out there but uh, if I look at uh, Canada uh, it's, it's pretty uh, it's pretty not there yet 
but yeah, it's, it's all those processes are not like a, I think like everybody's actually looking for them and or improving on them, and I think that's cool. That's a uh, and that's that's fun. Yes, I heard of the Anycubic. Yeah, actually, I'm I'm piling up some cash right now, like to actually get one. I think uh, I think it's pretty great what they were able to achieve, and and one of the main thing I want to do with 3D printing, especially like at this point, it's uh, I just want to research and explore, and I want it to be able to do prints, but like with kind of a low cost resin, and I feel like there's like probably like better printer I'm saying probably because I never like tested uh, you know all the printers out there but uh, like especially for SLA like I know that you know that what Form Labs is actually making is quite detailed but it's yeah I feel like it's the resin is like quite expensive and and what I like about the a &E cubic uh, photon one is that uh, First, like the printer is like super cheap for for that type of printer and for and that for for that kind of quality. And uh, second of all, it's like you know you can find like easily like third-party resin and stuff like that with a really lower cost and. So yeah, if you can, that's the thing. Like I don't, I don't mind if it's not like perfect quality. It's more like to prototype, you know, that kind of sculpture or models, and see, you know, how far can I push it by printing them. And then once you're actually put with it, then uh, you know, I would probably like go with like a something a lot more high end as a printer, and then do like some kind of master. And that's the one I would actually try to cast with. But once again, like who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe any cubic will come up with a resin or some other third party for uh, for that. Because uh, right now, from what I understood, like the biggest issue is actually when you're casting with like a a 3D printed mold is really the I think the mold release, which is like that stuff stick like crazy, and usually you will. Uh, destroy the mold or because that's one of the things since you're actually printing a mold usually if, you, if you're not using like a rubber type of resin it will be like hard mold so after that when you want to demold if you're actually using a silicon one you can just like pop it out because it's like a, more, a lot more flexible so you can bend it stuff like that but when it's like some kind of solid resin it's uh you know there's, there's good chance that you might break it when you're releasing the the gas, but uh, releasing the mold, I mean, but uh, yeah, and then if you need like to print a mold every time you need to make a cast, then it's not like really a good bargain.
but I've checked like even the they are making like the rubber resin from the from uh, farm labs but the only thing about that resin that I I would really like to try out is like add the feeling like the resolution you can print with is actually a lot more lower than other resin so if you need like to do like a high resolution um, mold to be sure like the what you're casting would actually retain all that eye detail then I think I think the rubber one might be like a not so great so but I never I never saw like someone actually trying it I was just like looking at the specs and I had the feeling that uh, it wouldn't be uh, as good but yeah if if somebody knows about it then sure let us know like if they try like something like that or or saw like the result of the because I actually I never saw like what the rubber resin looked like and except of the you know what they're showing off like with the I think it's like drills or you know power tools basically this look not so good but for now I think it's gonna be it so if we go back to the hand start to have like something going on one other thing that I like to do once more is like just for gesture and sil silhouette now that we see like the whole thing is the right now you see like it creates like some kind of star w when I actually put even like my fingers they 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 go like in two you know almost like opposite different direction and I feel like those two got this going on this could be like a, a little bit better but yeah the thumbs it will need like more love than that but uh, uh <laughs> not, not the ass okay sorry guys for the ass shot So yeah, if I just isolate it. See? So now like it's going does it need to be like the same kind of distance or angle from each one? Like this one could be a little you know, bent like a little bit more like that. But at least you're getting like something going into different direction. Which gives, I think, I think it's it sells like the the old thing even even better. That's the thing I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure Thanos put the gauntlet. Yeah, like some kind of similar pose. So maybe, maybe that could have been like a good reference because it's been done like that so many times. You know, there must be at least one artist who actually got that right. still look weird in some area but uh, I think it's slowly getting there
Hey guys, right now I'm making a hand, like a hangry hand, but uh, yeah, I'm doing like a, this kind of android kind of chick, and I'm, I'm just like trying to nail out like the pose of the hand, like this hand. but I'm struggling it's been a long time and that's why like sometimes it's good to re revisit like those basics and I just hope it's not too boring for you guys but uh, and one thing is sure like by just by playing with it and then you start like finding the whole what's wrong and and if you feel at some point you just like okay there's still something wrong but I just don't know what it is or you're just you know kinda running in circles then I think that's a good time to actually just let it go let it rest like for a little bit of time so you can go back later and uh, fix it just like right now like I, I feel like it's I know that something is wrong but uh yeah, I need like to let it rest a little bit more. But at least the fingers looks a lot better. So from there, I think I will just like continue with the glove. Um, that's not it. That's one, and that's two. So right now I will just... That's my other end. That's it. So now everything is still like in poly group. So for this, just because right now I think like I transfer my meshes, so that's why like they're all combined. But I will split them up. Some of the mesh I want to keep them uh, together like this. And oh. yeah, okay, so I'll just flip it, then mask everything, group mask. Okay, for some reason, he had like a stripe in it. Okay, so then after that, I will. This is good. So, I'll just group those for now. So, split and then Okay, so Then once more, group split. So now we got like three parts. The fingers, the wires, well, they're gonna be like tubes with like venom going into them. So that's why like I wanna, we'll probably like take this one and I will like render it out and then just duplicate it, scale it and place it. But in the meantime, I'll just still like place them just to be sure they look good. And uh, yeah, I'm not worrying about this, and I'm not worrying about this, so let's go.
so you see like how it how it becomes like uh, so easy to uh, work with now since I got actually like direction like I don't like the fingers actually bent right now but still at least I got like the the top plane and again I got the side side planes so like if I need like to do a part like that it's a lot more easy like to reorient or see like from where I'm gonna be bending my joints so. this one the reason why I like to do that is like even if I'm gonna sculpt like this thing independently at least I'll have like my measurement so I'll know like okay if I want like this bolt to be exactly there it needs to be that long and all because I don't really like, you know, like um, modeling everything I res fully detailed and then fit it, try like to fit everything in the, on top of the model. So if you need like a screw that is like perfectly round, then you start like moving this like that. It's maybe you guys got like other techniques to do that, but for me, I just find it like a kind of a dangerous and and I rather like just go in and uh, do it myself like that okay, so let's let's have some fun This will be perfectly round, but once again, it's just a reference sketch. So I'm not like constraining myself to respect like a specific topology. I can just go ahead and have fun. Are you guys still there? Once again, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing with this, but I'm just like, like you can see, I'm like experimenting with, with shapes up until I actually get something that I like. If I don't, then I'll get rid of it and move to something else. That's why I like for this, I, I kind of like not working in symmetry because I, because I can, let's just say like, you know, I did this and I don't like it, then I can try it once more like on the other side and then explore even more, so.
So is it lacking geometry? I guess so. Uh, we'll just subdivide it a few times, even if it got like a messy topology, it should it actually hold up like to finish my sketch with like a, a little bit more resolution. that's one of the things like once I'm happy with the design I will bring that like in the center of the world then do a, a zero mesh with symmetry so I'll have like even sides and then from there I'll work like in symmetry and that's when I'm gonna clean up the old the old mesh So yeah, the finger is supposed to be bent. So I'm just gonna try to do something that reflects that. Because those will probably be two separate parts. Yeah, so I guess like something like that. Yeah, I just realized I completely forgot to put the timer on. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately it's, uh, it's already done. Man, that's the thing, eh? it's like, that's, you know, that's one of the things that I noticed like over time and it's like, I guess I'm going to see it, it's going to be the, the word for the end, but it's, you know, like oftentimes, I guess it's just like workout, you don't feel like too much like sculpting, you're just like, bah, you know, I'd rather watch like TV shows or, you know, play games and stuff like that, but it's the kind of stuff that uh, you just need like to, to push enough to actually open up the software, and then from there, you know, like it's, I don't know, it just comes by itself. You know, like right now, like I'm, I'm completely, oh, you know, I was like kind of tired before like starting the stream, and now I'm just like, and I want to work all night. 
but it's yeah and and that feeling i feel that's you know that's what i i feel it's like the kind of the secret to be disciplined and keep the motivation it's just like you 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 try to stop when you really want to sh- do more like i know that right now i did like a, an hour and a half which is like you know it's kind of all right but uh yeah if i stop right now and i'm like super into it then man i'm gonna be craving it like crazy after that it's just like you know tomorrow i'll just want to like to go back and i think that's a healthy thing to do it, it gives you like time to reflect on what you just said and at the same time it keeps the, f- the flame alive actually it's almost like may makes the the flame uh, burn like a lot more because you really you know you're you're kind of having fun and that's the last feeling that you remember for all by sculpting this because sometimes it's if if you actually keep grinding and keep sculpting you know you might wear out that uh, that passion so yeah just a trick if uh, if you want to go and do something super ambitious over time but yeah that's going to be it so thank you guys i'm just going to reveal it for the end just to be sure i know it wasn't like a super crazy stream and uh, i apologize for that but um yeah once uh, i can actually get you know figure out like finish you know my you know the old website and other stuff i'll be able like to concentrate a lot more on this sculpture but uh yeah for the goes act- that the guys actually missed uh, last week we did well the past weeks we th- we worked on the breast worked on the the belly wait just want to show you that quickly before we finish the stream um yeah we just like you know work on the belly the abs get that cushion kind of feeling uh yeah started to work on this and um yeah next time if you got like a favorite part where you you wouldn't want me like to start then you know just say it no problem but yeah, and this will be made all of cushion because it's gonna be like some kind of a design cue from the shoulders. If you can look at the, see, like uh, my shoulders are like padded, with, like some kind of V. So yeah, it's something like I'll try like to bring out in the legs, and uh, who knows, maybe like even between the ribs over here, maybe like bring something like that. So we'll see. So. Thanks again. It was a great to have you with me tonight, and I hope like we'll be able to catch up soon. Uh, if you got any comments, whatever you know, like uh, about the the stream or the sculpt, or you, you think stuff that should be improved, anything, please feel free to share. Get in touch with me and share it. And uh, on that, I will uh, I will say, I have a good night and have a good week and uh, we'll catch up pretty soon bye bye